Let me introduce you to the most powerful and most expensive Wi-Fi 6 range extender from TP-Link as of September 2022. So this normally retails for around 80 to 100 pounds. Amazon had an offer on September 2022 for 65 pounds. As you can see, it says one mesh on there. How that works, if you have a TP-Link router that supports one mesh, you could use this as a mesh system rather than having to use a separate SSID and password like they did in the old days. So if you put this upstairs and the routers downstairs, when you're moving around, you're just using the same SSID and password. So you're not having to change passwords. However, the router I was going to use it with has packed in. I was going to use it with my Archer AX6000, which is also a Wi-Fi 6 router. Anyway, that's out of the picture now. So I'm with Virgin Media here in the UK. I'm on one gig down and 52 up. If you want to pick this up for the best price, click the first link in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below and please do subscribe to watch more reviews. So we have some information on the box, RE700X. They have all the information on the box apart from one. It doesn't tell you that this router does have two built-in antennas. So as it says in the box, AX3000 dual band. And then we have some theoretical speeds here for 5G and 2.4G. Wi-Fi dead zone killer, 160 channel, which is good for Wi-Fi 6 devices. So if you do have Wi-Fi 6 devices, you will definitely benefit from this range extender. It could connect more devices and um, it's good for streaming, easy to set up. And even says here at the bottom works with any Wi-Fi router. Some more information on this side. You could pause the video if you want. It does have a gigabit port, so you could connect your PC, gaming consoles, and smart TV directly to it. Some information on the back. Have some information on this side. Faster Wi-Fi 6. It says experience tremendous Wi-Fi speeds up to three gigabits per second with the wider 160 megahertz channel. Larger capacity, ultra low latency, save clients battery power, it has that target wake, adaptive path selection, and you could use this as an access point as well, you don't have to use it as a router. Uh, easy setup within minutes. You need to download this app from App Store or Google Play, I already have the app, so I'm going to just log into that and then we'll set the um, extender up. There is a QR code there. Let's get it unboxed. Oh, forgot to mention three-year warranty with this. So inside we have some paperwork. Quick installation guide. It's letting us know here when you set the extender up for the first time, it needs to be close to the router. Once you've set it up, then you could move it to where you have poor Wi-Fi. Remember, you don't place it where there's a complete dead zone. It's got to be halfway. So where you're getting poor Wi-Fi, you place it there. There are two ways to set this up with the app, which is how I'm going to do it. Or you can also set it up using the web browser. We have the extender. The extender, when you plug it in, we have the power indicator there, Wi-Fi indicator, 2.4G and 5G indicators. That's why it looks like from this side, it does have good cool in this. On this side, we have the reset pinhole, WPS button if you want to pair it that way. Push the WPS button on your router, within two minutes, push the WPS button on the extender and they should pair up. Then we have the gigabit ethernet port if you want to hook your gaming console or smart TV to the gigabit ethernet port. You'll Get an RJ45 cable, one end will go in here and the other end to your TV or gaming console. That's what it looks like from the bottom. At the back, we have the um, numbers and just a bit of information. The power light is flashing at the moment. We need to give it around two minutes. So the power light has stopped flashing. I will now open the app. I now go to add, range extender, Power LED is solid on, yes. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to grant these permissions, otherwise I don't think we will get any further. 
Allow only while using the app. Next. It's picked up TP link extender. Connect. Connection successful. Create a local password to manage your device. Now remember, this will not be the password for your Wi-Fi. This is the password for this actual uh, extender. I'll just quickly do this off camera. Okay, next. That's my Wi-Fi. I need to put the password in for my Wi-Fi. Quickly do that off camera. Now it says select the five gigahertz host network. Now it's applying settings. Let's have a quick look at the app. We are fully up and running. So we have two names here. RE700X 2.4G, RE700X 5G. If you were going to use the one mesh system, then you would have the same SSID and password as your router, as I explained earlier on. But as I am not using a TP-Link one mesh router, I have two different SSIDs here. Well, three now, one including the router as well. So I'm connected to the five gigahertz. Five gigahertz is a shorter range, but it's more stronger. 2.4 gigahertz is a longer range, but it isn't as strong. Tools, here we have quick setup, extended network, main network, one mesh, as I mentioned earlier on. As I don't have that, I can't turn that on. High speed mode, auto or manual, leave it on auto. Location assistant. Check the signal strength in here. Strong signal, too close. Because I'm still next to the router. For the initial setup, you have to be close. I will be moving it further away. So that's a, a good feature that. You share your Wi-Fi, TP-Link ID, LED control. If you have this extender in your bedroom, you can turn them lights off. LAN settings, DHCP, Wi-Fi coverage. So this has three modes. You've got your maximum coverage and it's letting us know here what the different uh, coverage will do. So by default, it's on maximum coverage, which I will be leaving it on because I'm going to put this on the second floor. Oh, you can power it off as well if you want. Set a time. Operation mode. At the moment, it's getting used as an extender, but you are able to use it as an access point. If you use it as an access point, you will have to use the Ethernet port, connect one end of an RJ45 cable to your router and the other end to the Ethernet port on the extender. System time, that's all up to date. You know, system, so you could check for firmware updates. It's a nice basic app. Okay, let's go do a speed test now because the reason I bought this, one of my uh, devices on further away was getting around. Maximum we've ever got is 27, uh, but it's mainly below that. That was on a good day, we got 27. So I wanna see if this improves that. Here are the results. As I was using this, my Virgin Media Hub 4 packed in. So they sent me the new one at the Virgin Media Hub 5, which is Wi-Fi 6. When I was using the Samsung Galaxy S22, that is a Wi-Fi 6 enabled device. So if you look at the upload speeds, the range extender is quite low, it's 11.8. In my opinion, I don't think this range extender made that much of a difference for its price. However, the range extender was stable, so there wasn't any connection issues or anything. But that depends on your service provider. In my opinion, I would not recommend this to anyone. The reason being it's too expensive, £100. If you put a little bit more money in, you could buy a full mesh system. Now, if you have a TP-Link router, and then you're going to use this, it's worth it because you could use it as a mesh system, as I mentioned earlier on. There are two other models of the, the Wi-Fi 6 range extenders, the AX1800 and the AX1500, which I have actually used. And I really liked that. That was a good 
range extender and it was at a decent price i'll link that in the icard and i'll also link it in the description box below if you want to watch that i hope this video was helpful to someone if it was leave a like thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video